Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Do you maybe? Finder, it is always such a pleasure to speak with you. Sarah's face lights up when she speaks. She takes one of your hands in hers and squeezes it affectionately. What do you need? Do you know anything about what's going on in the tears? Okay, I really what do you don't need? want. To... <laughs> okay, never mind. I really hope she would quick, quick. also have everything voiced like Chaos and Shadow did. Oh, we were supposed to talk with Verse as well. Mm. Herbalist mitts. And they are light armor, finally! Sigil of life. Uh, verse. Hey, Binder, let me get something on my chest. Verse nods to grab your attention. I burn inside. When I dance, it's like I'm trying to let out a fire to quench it in blood. Instead, I just end up stoking the flames. Shit, I don't know if that makes sense. She smooths down her feathers and sighs. I think I follow. I've always had such a strong connection to my furies. That pond made me feel... I don't know exactly. Like part of something? Now it feels like they're in me. They rise up when I dance, each time a little more restless. When we were going after Crocus and Erisa, I could almost hear them. Like they were whispering to me, tagging from somewhere deep. And even I can deny that all this sounds a lot like, you know, him. She looks off into the distance. Say it. The voices of Narat. Are you happy now? She scowls. I thought alone that I could be anything like the voices of Narat. Makes me want to flay myself. She inhales deeply. Chest rising, then lets it out through the her teeth in a low, prolonged hiss. The voices of Narat is a parasite. You are the predator. Now he's a parasite, sure, but that wasn't always true. Maybe it starts with the killing, but eventually you've got others doing the killing for you. That's how Arcos are made, right? An overlord? Worried about the Archon of Secrets. All the time. In the end, either he holds you out or finds something worse to do with you. Sure, he can rip people's thoughts away, but what about the slower, more insidious stuff? Like how he fashions his eyes. She shudders. I guess that's what worries me. He's already made me his eyes on you. What if he wants to make me his eye, too? If you don't want to turn into him, don't be like him. What exactly are you suggesting? The right corner of her lip twists. Leave the Scarlet Chorus. Leave the only place I've ever felt at home? The group that gave me a purpose and taught me to dance? I think not. Now, I might be convinced to sit a certain fire green throat and claim the course for my own. One more thing because before I call it a day, Fatebinder. Was it? What is it? After I spoke to Essa. I slipped a scout some rings to keep an eye on the place and send word if anything out of ordinary happened. She cracks her knuckles beneath her closed palms. Apparently there have been some strangers talking about. I would like to head back to Reverse Break and see if we can grab one. Maybe take a little knowledge out of him. But not, you know, in a directly out of the head kind of way, she frowns sheepishly. I will check it out if we get it a chance. I'm not saying it's the most important thing facing us. Just, you know, if we find the time. I've got an odd feeling about it, is all. Let's get moving. There's war the war's not over yet. Exactly. Several Earthshakers apparently attempted to flee the recent conflict. Additional cramped forms further down the path paint a grim picture. This way first. Ow. 
As the relief crystals are a resource for the Aveshaker's power, their essence, once harvested, may be used by the mages to bolster their abilities. Apparently I can harvest them to create some armor equipment out of it. No, oh, we could have went that way. Oh. Oh, right, this is the, the, this favorite place, remember that. We probably get jumped. If we are not careful. I must admit, this place is really confusing. Come on, nope, get... yes, not. yes, you will. This camp is typical of stone sea explorers. Curious. Many travel from all corners uh, of the Tears in search of unclaimed treasures from the now defunct kingdom of Azu. Sido of bounding bolts. We have now 105. Let's try Citadel Fire with the expression of. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Focused intent, maybe? Searing palm. Gather heated energy into your hands and release it onto a foe with as 2 meters range. No, thank you. Fireball! Four fireballs. And accuracy. Bleeding no piercing. Wait, this increases the Oh no no no, I don't want it to bounce. Interrupt penetration maybe? Hmm. Strength. I lost all of my spells <sighs> due to the reset. Giant boulder, sure. With sigil of bleeding, yeah, might as well. Let's make some powerful spells for ourselves. Emotions. Slumber, aura of fear. Let's give, take the healing, healing aura. That will be useful. And for Siren, maybe we can also give you mental flames. Create a fiery aura around the target that the mid is frozen and was frozen from allies. Sure, I'll give it to theirs actually, since we can. Direct an entwining wave of flame across the battlefield. Each enemy caught in the flame's path takes fire damage and is left burning. This we can give to Seren. Seat of Force. Uh, let's see. Get an aura around the target to prevent his eyes from being knocked. Eh, nothing. Mysterious Mass. Visionary Carl. Chaos. Caught an enemy in rock and earth, but frank them, this pose is very inaccurate. Uh, recovery accuracy seedle. Now it's accurate. And let's give it more duration. Enrage mind, taunting chest, or a fear or slumber. Mm. I know this would be useful. 
create a healing field in large area allies in the area have random hostile effects removed it needs a lot of mm, lore enchant the target for long lasting regenerative effect not really let's take healing wisps um, one off to give her that okay let's leave it at this for now Fears in shadow understands. I'm glad. Okay, now let's go over here. Oh, we need to go down here. Come on. What do we have? Reputation. Serious address bolstered by her power and understanding of teachings left to her by the Archon of Stone. Oh. So now it counts as powerful artifact. Oh, that's interesting. I really appreciate the depth of uh, lore that you can use to for them to learn something. This whole adventure was about them learning about the world, about themselves. It really gives the depth to the world. And I think I'm gonna use a lot of it when I will be creating my D&D campaign. What's that? Oh, nothing important. That one here is dead. Wait, how did it get here? Oh, never mind. The number of disfavored dead far outnumber the horde bodies littering the ground. It seems unlikely that any disfavored survived the battle. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, yes, yes. Beast woman's lead. Earthshakers mean to defend the final resting place of Cairn to the death. Weapons, supplies, and resources have been brought in to sustain the soldiers at this camp. And remember, we are the place that's supposed to lead us to the spire. Cannot. Nope. Okay, so this is the end of this map, it seems. Oh, is that him? See that? Karen's remains lie here, collapsed in a pile of azurelith and stone. The Wandering Archon was destroyed by the might of the Edict of Stone. The Spire has survived the magical tremors that ravaged the Stone Sea. It, stretched, it stretches incomprehensibly far into the sky, making the rocky pillars nearby appear diminutive in, comparis in comparison. Finally, the last spire. Brilliant flames cast an emerald light on the walls. How they got that color and why they don't burn out is a mystery. Hmm? Where do we have it? Now that really is incomplete. If we knew what glyph we needed, I'll bet we could unlock this puzzle. Uh, but I'm fairly sure I know what glyph we need. The question uh, is, do they have to be 
mirrored like here we can see it goes up this goes down if not that that would mean this is the first one that's uh not symmetrical which i find really curious I mean, this looks different. Huh. Yes, I want to try making it, uh, making it symmetrical. They have to be symmetrical. <laughs> Not that it's the last spire we'll go we're gonna find. The now familiar light of the spire courses skyward, trailing off toward the horizon in the direction of Vengeance Well. You feel the ground beneath you fall away as you cave in to the warmth of the energy surrounding you. The dawning spire in Howling Rock gives you the impression of slow, inexorable movement, like a glacier of living stone. Unstoppable force moves at a pace that no eye could follow. The tower's very immobility is a pretense. With a triumphant heave, you feel the will of the spire stretch across the distance, linked its power with vengeance well. Too bad spire could not save stone arc and not fall into Gaius' edict. Beast would think spire would have wanted to. She scratches a spindly curved claw around her claw bone as she peers over the lip of the spire, down at the petrified archon clutching its base. Are you sure? Uh, are you used to this rush? Because I don't know if I'll ever be. We all feel it, right? I feel bad reveling in this moment, knowing it came at the loss of such an immense power. But we will use it to further our cause, so it won't have happened in vain. And thus, we create the infirmary. Potions? Sure. A merchant of large collection of poisons, many of them illegal. Potions, potions. Provides infirmary with supplies, that's always good. Lore, magical stuff, that's for Siren. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see, you can hire three more. Potions. Wait. Merchant with large, okay. And trainer. No, we already have one trainer, we don't need another one. Uh, sure. Welcome to the Spire's Infirmary, Fightbinder. As you can see, we have everything in order to end our their control. The alchemist nods and smiles. What can I do here? If you wish to craft potions, we have an alchemy station nearby. Uh, we are, of course, producing the modus, a modus supply of potions ourselves. You have but to ask and I'll show you what we've made. What do you make of the Spire? The alchemist glances toward the edge of the spire with an anxious twitch. <laughs> uh, this is certainly an irregular place to establish our services, but so be it. At least we are removed from the front lines of this conflict. For the time being, at least. 
What have you made for me? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Makes sense. And of course, I'm going to collect some stuff while we are here. Sigil of selfless magic. Yeah, we already know this one. Oh, it's so beautiful. I like the green. So we have no recipes. Oh no. Killing potions. How many can we make? Not that many. Greater healing potions. Uh, even less so. Four. Okay. Colossus extract. This thick, foul scented brew bears roughly the same color as bleached bone and tastes like pickled fish. Guaranteed to make the imbiber larger and last longer. Hmm. Okay, not that we are really using potions, and I'm ashamed to admit it. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Are you trying to piss everyone off, or do you just do this for fun? <laughs> I'm not judging either way, I'm just curious. Casting an edict on vengeance well is a good way to shine a beacon on yourself. Or paint a target. <laughs> Verse crosses her arms and smiles. I saved your skin, didn't I? Sure did, for now. Like I said, I'm not trying to prod you or suggest you made our own call. As someone who likes to stay discreet until she has the opening to strike a killing blow, I find your little public gesture of dominance. Well, quiet. Charming, in a dumb way. Okay, so uh, where you want me to go? Mm. No, really. Oh, uh, reverse break. I keep hitting the wrong thing. Reverse break. Where was it? Here. Of course, you had to tell me it's there when we are on the other side of the tears. I don't know. When born Ash assaulted your senses, even before you reached reverse break, by the time the farmstead came into view, the burning smell was joined by those of charred, rotting flesh and blasted vegetation. The house stands in ruins, the plaster cracked and blackened. Verse steps forward, arms slack at her sides, mouth slightly agape. What the Kairos loving shit? Essa? Shit, fade by there. Want everyone in Vengeance well to know we're here? Let's poke around. Maybe there's something here that will give us a better sense of who did this and why. The charred and smoldering corpse of an older... Essa? Fuck! Verse sinks to her knees in the ashes and touches the charred and peeling face. After a moment of silence, she looks up to you, then shakes her head. I could have given her a clean death, and instead she ends up here, burned alive. That's mercy for you. She glances down at her back and palms. This isn't your fault. No shit, it isn't my fault, and when we find the fucker whose fault it is, I'm going to make them sure they understand the pain of being roasted like a pig on a spit. Yep, yep, and after a feast on a cook human cook a pig? No! No eating humans! Bad beast! Bad! Sirin recoils from the beast woman. Beast woman thinks bird girl may, might make good day snack. Too little meat for an evening thought. Even if Rip cracked every drop of milk from bronze. She chuffs, her tongue flickering out across her upper lip. You stay over there, beast, and keep your rib cracking to yourself. Sirin puts several strides between herself and kills in shadow. I'll think about it once I build up my appetite. Verse nods to kill in shadow. Let's figure out what happened here, Fate Binder. Then we'll go meet out some justice. The charred and smoldering corpse of an older woman has been dumped unceremoniously on the ground. Crates and plants litter the ground in disarray. Verse, please do not interrupt me. What a mess. 
whoever came here decided to throw down among themselves. If that doesn't scream Scarlet Chorus, <laughs> I'm the last queen of Apex. At least when I lead Chorus gangs, they focus on the enemy instead of one another. She laughs quietly. Scattered crates, light scattered and burnt. These were here the before, weren't they? Can't say they seem very useful now. I won't read that because she will interrupt me anyway. Somebody pried this door open. Someone with iron. She runs a finger on the door frame. The disfavored may have the collective brain capacity of a crate filled with stone, but their weapons like each one, each one is the daughter of Kairos. Look at this fate binder. First points at the blasted remnants of the wall. I've seen a lot of fires in my time, and this and this is that very special pattern of burning that only happens with magic. She kneels, fingers running over the ashes. See these marks? See the work. And too clean for blood genders. Probably a sage. Were I to guess? Sages did this? If you know of another organized society of magic users who like to control information, I'll happily look their way. Is there anything better than the old, familiar scent of a burned-out farmhouse? What? Nice find, Binder. Burst sings to Wendy. These tracks are faint, even with the earth as dry as it is. Whoever left them was traveling light. They couldn't have carried much gear. Her attention turns to the eastern horizon. The shadow stalker hunkers low to the ground, knuckles flat in the dirt. Flat in the dirt, she sniffles and snorts, nostrils nearly touching the earth. <laughs> Track maker smooth sweat and blood, leather on old oil on iron, dry food only, no meat. We've got a burned farmstead and multiple fire wards set around it. That reeks of our missing fire mage Katorius. There's chorus and disfavored shit all over the place. Given how shoddily maintained the iron is, I'm guessing it's all chorus shit. Good cutters have been conscripted. We can always ask him when we find him, assuming I let him live long enough to form an answer. The nearest stronghold is a sad little pile of palisades on the edge of the contested lands called Fort Squander. The disfavored used to hold those walls, so that could go a ways towards explaining their arms being scattered around here. Come on, we've got a sage to track. She gestures ahead. You okay? You seem a little intense. Yeah, I'm... The fire. It reminds me of Red Geyser. She bites her lower lip. Tell me about her. She loved fire. Loved it more than any other fury. Loved it more than the blood chanters, maybe. They twist and pull it, summon it. She made a partner of it. Let it lead her dance. Once she lured these Azure Scouts into a clearing, they're tracking this lone woman, then all around them torches blaze. Geyser sets these pitch-headed arrows to the flames for putting them into one of the Scouts' eyes. An arrow per eye, hissing and popping. And then she charges into the Scouts with this burning crescent, this axe, the head as long as your arm and pitched. They swing at her, but it's all fire and blood to her. She shoulders them aside, and we take them apart. That's where she got her name. The spray from an opened neck. I wish I'd seen it. To look at her back, at her chest. No one would fault you for mistaking her for a man of labor. Ate more than the rest of us combined. All she took to, she took to with everything in her. She was obsessed with proving herself to the voices. He'd given her this second life in the Howling Choir, and she was gonna make good and fucking sure that she earned it every day. She was one of the good ones, Binder. As good as anyone on this filthy peninsula. I'm glad I got to tell you about her. She lives on a bit in that. Now, let's be off. Vera's cracks her knuckles and nods. And I think we're gonna end this part here. So for nope, now, thank not. you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.